Well, Merry Christmas. My name is David Kenny, and I'm the pastor of Walden Community Church here in Montgomery, Texas. This year, our theme for Christmas is Peace Has Come. Every Sunday, we have two services, one at 9.30 a.m., which is our more traditional service, and then a second one at 11, which is our contemporary service with a worship team. And you are more than welcome to attend either one. We would love to have you, and we would love to be the church where you live. This season, uh, in addition to publishing a devotional for the month of December, we decided, you know what, let's also throw it up on YouTube. We realize there's still some people who are a little uncomfortable being uh, in public, and so we decided I could just put my camera up, sit in front of the Christmas tree, and then read the devotional for you. And if you uh, like today's reading, I would suggest you post it to your own social media wall or maybe post it to a friend's wall if you think it might encourage them. Today's reading is called, This is Why He Was Born. And the passage is from Corinthians 5, verse 17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. During the holiday season, it's not uncommon for us to say, Merry Christmas, or have a Happy New Year. We say that to one another, but let's not forget that in order for us to be merry and happy, we need to be free from the things that are louder and flashier than the manger story. Christmas should be a time of peace and hope, but not the hope in what lies under the tree, but Christmas hope. Christian hope, hope in Jesus Christ, hope that despite any of our darkness or our past, Jesus Christ will make all things new. The angel who proclaimed Jesus' birth said, he will save his people from their sins. Hope says that there is forgiveness and the opportunity to be made new. There is no cure for sin that doctors can come up with in a laboratory. Jesus Christ is the only one who can heal us. He is the only one that can make us new. So we can say, Merry Christmas, or have a Happy New Year. But the joy that comes with the greeting is the one that reminds us that Jesus Christ came to save. This is why he was born. The Christmas message says that God's grace was so much greater than our sin. The cross was the cure, offered and paid for and administered by a loving God and his only son. Jesus Christ is alive to conquer despair, to impart hope, to forgive sins, and to bring peace. Revelation 21.5 says, Behold, he makes all things new. Thanks for joining us today. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for our December 20th reading. Hey, and one more thing before you go, I want to take a moment to remind you about our Christmas Eve services. We actually have two opportunities for worship on December 24th. We'll have a service at 5 p.m. and a service at 7 p.m., both of which are completely identical. Pick the service that works the best for you and your family. Our church has really enjoyed serving you and worshiping alongside of you this year. We would love to be the church where you live. If you'd like to learn more about us, you can find us at waldenchurch.com. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon.